Sucking on it. Sucking on a piece of celery, huh? What is up? Hello. I got celery in my mouth. Brett Andrews, Z100, with the dudes from 303. Yeah, yeah. This is Natalicious. Natalicious. Yeah, but Natalicious. 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 We got Sean, and we've got some lovely Z100 listeners who texted in to win a Hello. private hangout with 303. Hello. Now, um, we're at game time in Lake Oswego, by the way. Big shout out to them. Get a shout out of the food. Yummy. Yummy, Yummy. food. Yummy. Those, nachos, Yummy. those nachos are about to disappear. Right. So, fellas, get the wink. Get it. Get it. Oh. I can't, so, can't, can't, can't feed the models, actually. Two things you need to know about Sean before we get into this deep, hard-hitting, journalistic interview. Number one, he double dips. So, careful with the, the nachos and the, the blue cheese. Yeah, don't, I don't, don't want to get what I have, believe me. I found out about that um, at PerezHilton.com, actually. The, the, and that leads me to the second thing you need to know about Sean is, under no circumstances should you ever say that he resembles even a little bit the skinny, better looking, abbed out. You know what? We also want to thank Guy Fieri over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this diners and drives in and dives? That was a good one. Touche, my friend. Touche. What's his little pet phrase? I don't know. I was going to say home, but that's a different thing. <laughs> so, um, tell us a little bit about the, uh, the new record. And the you know, you guys are back, kind of back at it, back on, on the road, introducing your song to, to people. Yeah, uh, we have a new record coming out December 4th, it's called Almonds, and uh, we have a song, a single right now, called You're Gonna Love This, um, that we shot a video for, actually, just recently in Vegas, and did a bunch of trick shots, which I'm, I'm hoping to do on the There's, a, there's actually a deal with bowling, it's a bowling shot. Really? Yeah, I bowled a, a bowling ball across the hotel lobby, like 100 yards over a, over the railing into like a cash card. That's awesome. So, did you get permission to do this before? Or did no. we have to like, <laughs> was, there, was there a lot of damage? No, it was funny, man. We, uh, Planet Hollywood asked us if we wanted to shoot a video out there. So, you know, we're like, yeah. And I that happens to me all the time, too. <laughs> yeah, super I, cool. I turned down the Bellagio <laughs> all the time. I think most people like go there, they're like, oh yeah, we're going to do a club video, you know what I mean? Where there's yeah. champagne bottles. And we're like, no, we want to go bowling in here. That's awesome. That's so, awesome. No, yeah. So. so I told all of the uh, listeners that if they don't have a good hard hitting question, that we're gonna make them pay for the food that they already okay. ate. So, <laughs> let's you guys start. ready? You guys let's ready with your question? Why don't we start what? right here? <laughs> What's your name? I'm Val. Okay, that's Val. Hi, Val. Oh, I was actually curious about that video and how many of the things you actually performed and how many were kind of improvised. Yeah, um, well, I mean, we've had a lot of questions about that because a lot of people just assume like it was CGI, but we actually did all the shots. It took us two days. Um, there's behind the scenes, if you don't believe us, it's, uh, I can understand why, because some, some of it was really crazy. Yeah, the shot was, frisbee shot was like... <laughs> yeah, the frisbee shot took 76 tries, and like, literally, we were going to walk away from it and cut it from the video, because I couldn't do it so far, and then literally, like, one of the last times I threw it in, the cameraman almost dropped the camera. He was like so amazed by it. I remember that one of the extras was actually yelled up to me. He's like, you're not even close. I was like, thanks for the encouragement. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Good question. It's all in the, it's on the wrist, all man. In the, it's all in the wrist. Okay, hey, now this next person skipped work to come here today. Oh, oh. What's your name? Katie. All right, Katie. Um, what was your favorite and least favorite part of being on work? Oh, favorite. Well, favorite part is that, honestly it's a great tour. You get you get to do meet and greets with fans every day, so you really get to kind of FaceTime with, with your fans, which is awesome. And then it's just it's good shows every day. There's, you know that there's going to be a lot of people at your show, so that's awesome. It's really good for your band. It grows your band. The worst thing is that like it's in a parking lot for two years. <laughs> hey, my, my, yeah, my least favorite thing uh, is taking like a you, sauna and a porta potty. <laughs> That's yeah. The, that's pretty no, no, it's vicious. We get up, no you get up to you get up to like Portland on the tour, and you're stoked because it's nice up here. But man, there's those days in Texas and Florida. Ooh. It's like 110. Out there. Swimming, just swimming. Do you swimming. guys? Do you get free vans? We, we yeah, one pair. actually do one pair. One yeah, pair. That's all you get. Yeah, and you're done with them by the end of it. You've got so much crap stuck to your shoes yeah, plus, walking around. Yeah, all tour, the sweat like, just marinates down into the shoes. The shoes, <laughs> yeah, shoes up in your vans. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, this uh, it's a fun tour. But yeah, there's some. Did you guys have, did you guys have great questions? I hope so. <laughs> What's your favorite part about Oregon? Favorite part about Oregon? My favorite part about Oregon. Portland. It's Portland. Yeah. Easy. No, we, we love this town. We 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 really love 
um, coming to Portland. We got, we've actually had the good fortune to have like a bunch of days off here. So we we um, we have a bunch of friends that live here actually because Boulder and Portland are, are kind of similar. <laughs> Guy Carey right here. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, we got uh, Voodoo Donuts. Yeah. yeah. Definitely, definitely a mainstay. So I don't I don't know if you guys remember this, but uh, last time they were here in town and we were doing an interview, you guys were on tour with Travis McCoy. Yep. And I don't know if you remember, but we were eating burritos and Travi almost puked yeah, everywhere. Yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, that was so. I try not to do it today. Yeah, exactly. too many, too many All of a sudden, he started like dry heaving in the studio. It was, it was pretty and bizarre. And his manager starts like running, trying to get some water. He's like, somebody get Travi some water. I'm like, no, I want to see him puke. It'll be 100,000 views on YouTube if he actually puked. You can sell that on eBay. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He was about to, he was, he was ready to bottle it up. Just yeah. Like, We're going to sell this. It's awesome. All right, you're up. Wow. Um, what's your favorite thing to do right after you get off tour? Right after you get off tour is to go use a porta potty that isn't hot. No, I'm just <laughs> um, I, right when I get off tour is just honestly it's a little it's like sleeping in your own bed, taking a shower, just washing off, just filth it. Not that we don't shower the whole tour, but uh, <laughs> you can right, able yeah. to shower whenever you want. It's, it's like little luxuries that you don't really realize until you get on tour. Also, probably not having to think about what city you're in. Yeah. Like, you know, I. He's done it. He's well, done the it. thing is, is like obviously we always know where we're at, but there's times when and like. So you've seen that Snickers commercial where they're like, "Yo, what's up?" Wherever, and they say the wrong city. So I was hyping the crowd in Salt Lake City, and I just told. And I think if you ask any artist, like, there's a point. Everybody's where, done. The it. minute I, I like, I'm just like, "Come on, Boise, like what?" And then I was just like, "Oh, oh no!" And the whole rest of the show, I was just trying to make it up. You know, like it's like when you forget someone's name, so you say it or, when you learn it overly. So every, I was just like. Salt Lake City, you're great Salt Lake City. I know I'm in Salt Lake City. Really great city. As, uh, I love Mormons. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Whoa. Do you have any questions? I was waiting for my two today. I have to ask right. questions. Come on, ladies. You gotta combine well, I'm fooling you off. Um, what's your guys' favorite song that you've ever made? Our favorite of our own songs? Mm -hmm. Um, so that's easy. Uh, Katy Perry's Firework. I think, I mean, as an artist, you're always excited, I think, uh, about your new material, you know? So I think there's there's a few songs on, I mean, I, I like all these songs on our new records coming out December 4th, but I think that there's definitely a few of those songs that I'm most proud of. I think they show the most uh, progress and stuff. But, uh, we have a song called Dragon Backpack. I don't know if you, it's it, deep in the, deep in the past of our, our songs and that. Kind of my dream girl wears a dragon backpack with a eagle sweatshirt, bison handkerchief. Oh, do you have one? Uh, <laughs> finally! <laughs> no, yeah, and then we, we were actually just talking about we. Um, I like went back and reprogrammed some of our old songs that we hadn't played for a while. Songs like Choke Chain, like I'm Not Your Boyfriend and stuff. And then uh, when you go back and like revisit those songs, you kind of appreciate stuff about them. So it's nice to just I don't know. It's nice to go through your whole catalog and. We're at the point now where we have, we're going to have like four records out, you know, so we have a lot to choose from when we play, so it's nice to be able to win. What's, what's, like what's your time? favorite? Do you have one? Colorado Summer. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we play that one live all the time, so. Do you feel like it, do you, do you feel like you look back and you're like, I can't believe we're on, we're on our fourth album already? Yeah. It's probably going on pretty quick. Yeah, it's yeah. Kind of, I mean, yeah. It, it is quick, and it's funny because this, this last record, Omens, was, was a lot, the process of it was a lot like our very first record, which was just self-released, like, in my basement in Colorado, back when I was... The neighbors telling us to shut up. Yeah. Like, was, and then this one is in my basement in Colorado. So you heard it here, Roadrunner Records does not provide their artists a studio for their records. That's great. Yeah. I do Road have a question Rocker. for you now. My What's house that? is always available. I do have one for you. Okay. How long have you guys been together and what brought you together? We uh, met on Match.com about... <laughs> Couple years ago, no, we oh actually. You know what? We actually, it does work. We we, we formally met. We formally met in a physics class at the University of Colorado. We were, um, I was a sophomore, he was a freshman, but we had like I'd I'd seen him do rap shows before because he was like emceeing with his buddies, and so I'd seen him on stage. He had actually, in some creepy way, like I used to make a bunch of videos, like student videos, in my high school creepy. that would air on public access. I watched movie. public access because I was weird kids with no cable, so, um, and so he had, like, I saw these like, videos of him like DJing and stuff, so I, in the class I just asked him straight up, I'm just like, hey man, like I, I've seen you at shows, like you like this sort of music, and then he's like, yeah, so we started working on music at his house in his basement, and then it became what it is, you know, just put it online immediately, and uh, that was, sorry, long way to answer the question, that was, we, we met in 2003, 
I guess we've been making music for like nine. So what were you yeah, majoring in in college? I, I did uh, I did like pre medical stuff. So I did wow. a biology degree, and then I actually got accepted to medical school and deferred four times. <laughs> you, realize, you realize Dr. Dre wasn't actually. Really <laughs> so yeah, so I, I just uh, yeah, I just this year decided that I'm not gonna go to medical school. Yeah. But now that you've like heels, more. now that you've like uh, uh, qualified for cancer. I mean, I'm basically a doctor, so... Yeah, yeah he definitely... Yeah, really. you know, he's definitely doing a few surgeries on me. You know, I, I haven't been feeling on my knees. I can do that. Here, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. 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 Just cut away. No, but yeah, so that... Yeah, that's kind of how we met. What about you? What were you majoring in? Uh... Ladies. <laughs> well, I yeah, I majored in, uh... In beer pong. No, in, uh... Literature. Literature and math. Which is interesting because he doesn't know how to read. I don't know how to read and I can't, yeah, I'm not I'm so good with them numbers. No, we both, we both graduated from school mm -hmm. with honors. Yeah, talking cool. to, you're talking to like 12 kids who skipped school. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's right. There's no way to help. Yeah, I'm saying, really. I skipped too, so. Where I was I supposed say? to teach at your school today, and now I don't know. Pick up a subject. <laughs> Favorite music video. Um, actually, this recent one was really fun, that, just because all the trick shots. But there's a lot of pressure. Like the other ones are tiring because you have like your it's performance after performance. This one was tiring because you're in the the Planet Hollywood uh, casino, of, like trying to throw a miniature ball like downstairs into like a luggage rack, and you just realize kind of how dumb the whole thing is and you're like you're like relying on this one take to make it and there's people around watching actually one of the shots Matt doesn't, Matt doesn't play golf but of course we stuck him with the golf shot and he had to make the, the golf ball into the trash can and he was out front of Planet Hollywood when there were a bunch of people walking by and the caddy that was casted as his caddy looks exactly like Matt Damon so crowds were amassing, like right next to him, just being like, "Oh my God, it's Matt Damon!" It's Matt They're Damon. feeling born identity. Yeah, no, that, or, yeah. What was the uh, Bagger Vance too? Yeah, yeah it's like oh. Revenge of the ba No, they are. Uh, one of three people who actually saw that. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I started in it. No, I saw. Uh, but it was, yeah, so it was really funny. The uh, we had to tell everyone, it's not Matt Damon. Just keep moving. <laughs> but it is three or three. Don't you want to hang? Okay, no. Uh, no, but we uh, that was really fun, and then honestly. Honestly, a lot of them are really fun because we uh, work with our friends doing it, but uh, uh, one that I really enjoyed because it was really different was Double Vision that we did. It was like shot from a crane. That was nice because we were on our backs all the time too. Yeah, we got to lie down. You didn't yeah. have to move around too much. Yeah, so, yeah, that was a good question. That was cool. So, how tall are you? I'm 5'8 when I have my heels on. I'm 5'2. No, it's just the, the way I carry myself, I have very good posture, so it's like a good, I project a very good. No, it's pretty funny because I have people, on, I see on, on Twitter, they go, Sean is so short. He's so short, he's like 4'8". I'm like, Matt's 6'7". Just because I stand next to him. He's like, so tall, I'm 6'1". Come on. NBA, NBA syndrome. Yeah, it's NBA syndrome. You should just stand like 10 feet in front of him. And yeah, so yep, there you go. go. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 Perfect. Now, yeah. now he just has a really small we head. All of our problems. <laughs> <laughs> we have a legally binding contract. We're not banned. We're still all. Banned. He's not allowed to start and cry on the stage. Pictures. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta tell you guys, of all of the question and answer like sessions I've done, you guys have the best questions. Yeah, that's really good. Good job. No, you guys no, 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 no. You, I think 303 has the smartest fans, even though they're all skipping school right now. I, know. I mean, yes. they're all sick with the flu right now. They're all ahead. You guys that's all so good. Ahead. That's so good. Watch my friends. So, uh, December 4th, <laughs> right? December 4th. So go with omens. Pick up Almonds December 4th and make some noise, you guys, for 303. Thank you, right? <laughs> now we're going to go do a cooking show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Triple D. Guy in black. Guy 